tonight, Oregon Senator Jeff Cruz says he will resign after an independent report reveals he sexually harassed numerous women at the state capitol. Cruz had served in the state senate for 22 years, representing counties in southern Oregon. In a statement, he says he regrets not being able to defend himself before the Senate Conduct Committee. Our Jennifer Dowling talked to a political expert about this decision and what's next for his district. Jennifer? Well, Cruz is set to resign on March 15th, but his, his accusers say that deadline isn't good enough. They're calling for his immediate resignation. Democratic Senator Sarah Gelser says Jeff Cruz's resignation was long overdue. I was stunned by the severity of treatment that some of these young women experienced when they came to this capital, their capital. She accused a longtime Republican senator from Roseburg of inappropriately touching her, and an independent investigator determined he had done the same to more than 10 women at the Capitol during his time in the legislature. A 50-plus page report was just released documenting those alleged abuses, including several pieces of video that show Cruz very close to Gelser. The report speaks for itself. Sure. Despite his decision, Cruz is still denying the allegations, stating, I regret that I will not have the opportunity to defend myself before the Senate Conduct Committee. However, today I tender my resignation so colleagues may focus on serving Oregonians without distraction. Pressure has been building on Cruz for more than almost two years. Political analyst Jim Moore says the allegations of harassment were first documented in 2016. As for why he's making this choice now. When that much evidence is there, the support of your colleagues just melts away. Moore says county commissioners from his district will be tasked with choosing a replacement from within the Republican Party. But because his resignation is not immediate, he says his district will be impacted. Because his resignation doesn't take place until March, there's no chance that there can be a, a short process to get somebody in to represent his district before the end of this five-week session that we're in. Moore says the Senate and House will likely start to work on new procedures to address harassment as it took two years for there to be any ramifications in this case. Back to you. Two years just for this one particular case. Jennifer Dowling live in our newsroom tonight. Thank you. Big